how many questions should you attempt to get 99.5 percentile 99 95 in the actual cat you get 95 95 95 in all three your overall percentile is going to be much higher i'm going to jump in and give indicative mark ranges because attempts and scores are two different things and you can attempt all 100 questions and get a very low percentile fine so let's go section by section for varc in that section if you want to get 99.5 percentile absolutely fantastic score i think you should look to get a score of 72 73 right so based on what you've seen in the last few years last two years at least the number of attempts is less of an issue with varc because almost everyone manages 25 26 attempts by when i say almost everyone almost everyone who is prepared very seriously intently all of that not almost everyone in general and so it is easy to attempt in vrc passages are not long they're simple enough you can keep clicking and attempting but vrc is going to hinge heavily on accuracy so keep that in mind take enough effort to resolve your one and twos and so to get 99.5 you should get 72 73 mark to get 99 you're looking at 65 66 marks 95 you're looking at 52 53 marks 90 you're looking at 42 43 marks that's what you're looking for varc and so for dilr and quant we can go back to the number of questions basis because i'm going to assume that in v in, in dilr and quant you get practically nothing wrong right for for dilr if you can get 16 17 questions there thereabouts which is very very tough you're looking at 99.5 percentile plus and if you can attempt 13 14 you're looking at 12, 13, 14, you're looking at 99th percentile. I took it 95th percentile, 10 questions, all correct, you're getting that. And so, 8 all correct is 90th percentile. And the DILR section is tough. So, what you'll have to think about here is to not get caught in some stinker, get the right set and hang in there. Accept that it is tough. So, know that the benchmarks are different. And for quant to get 99.5 percentile, you need to have got 26 more or less everything correct 26 plus and so 26 questions plus or 78 marks there about and so to get 99th percentile you're looking at 23 24 questions to get 95th percentile two more two questions fewer say 21 questions or 20 21 questions all correct is what you're looking for uh, 95th percentile and so remember you get 95 95 95 in all three your overall percentile is going to be much higher so 97 98 you don't need to worry about balance because you're going to write three different sections you're taking three one hour exams so plan like that don't worry about maintaining balance and all that that's not required that's not something that you need to occupy your your, your mind with but i'm saying these are the expectations uh, please keep in mind that you should not go in chasing this don't go into the exam saying look i need to get 73 marks that means i need to get 24 right i'll probably get five wrong so i have to attempt 29 so you do the math like this then you start chasing questions and you go after speed and your accuracy falls off your, your mind starts wandering all of that and so be 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 savvy this is a, an, a rough outline a guideline based on what you have seen in the last two three years but nothing more than that best wishes for Canada.